The 20 news group data is a collection of text that consists of 20,000 messages taken from different news groups. You can think of these news groups as different internet discussion forums, and the labels associated with these forums are listed here. As you can see, different topics ranging from politics to religion to sports to computers are all discussed on these forums. This data is really popular in the text mining community for validating different types of models. The reason why this data can be used to validate models is because users were aware of these labels ahead of time before they posted their message. So we can use these labels as a ground truth for the topic or theme associated with the messages. A popular statistical model or method for discovering topics hidden in a collection of text is what is known as a topic model. So what I've done is I've fit a topic model with 50 topics to this collection of text and I'm using an interactive visualization tool called LDAviz to explore this topic model and discover the meaning or interpret the meaning of the different topics. Now this can be a difficult task because what you get out of the model is actually a very big probability mass function over all of the possible words in your model for each individual topic. So in other words, we could visualize using the red bars here, the frequency of each word given a topic. So what you see here is I've selected topic 18, and I've now listed the top 35 words according to the frequency given this topic. Now you can also compare that frequency within this topic 18 to the overall frequency of these words. As you can see, we have some words that occur quite often overall, for example, email addresses and one digit numbers words like can, not, like, no, use. These are all very popular generic terms that aren't very specific to this topic. By listing the top words in terms of frequency given the topic can often lead to confusion or difficulty in distinguishing the meaning between different topics. To quickly show you what I mean here, I could hover over the different topics to list the top words in terms of frequency given the different topics. And what you should notice here is email address appears near the top of the list in most of these topics. Using this tool, I can quickly re-rank words and introduce new words that are more specific to uh, a topic of interest. I do that by decreasing the value of lambda to put more weight on essentially the ratio of red to gray, or the ratio of the frequency given the topic to the overall frequency of the word. When doing this, it's much easier for me to see that this topic is describing computer graphics and image formats. For example, I see words such as GIF, popular image format, graphics, files, 3D, file, TIFF, PostScript, uh, JPEG, directory, images, image. So this is all about computer graphics and image formats. Another neat feature of this tool is that we can see or visualize the unexplained portion of the frequency of these words by hovering over a specific word. In this case, I've hovered over graphics and we can see that this word is also being used 
in topic 11, topic 17, topic 36, 37, and 6. This is a great way to see how words are used in different contexts. For example, if I'm now interested in topic 11, I can hover over topic 11, and I can see that these words are mostly describing computer hardware. So graphics in this context must be being used in terms of a graphics card. This result is reassuring since the distance between 18 and 11 on the scatter plot to the left is an approximation of the difference between topic 18's distribution and topic 11's distribution. In other words, that, dif that distance between 18 and 11 is an approximation of the semantic relationship between these two topics. can go back to topic 18, again find graphics, and say I'm now interested in topic 17. This is very close to topic 18, so again it should be semantically related, and it looks like this topic is describing the X Windows display system, which is a computer display windowing system which gave birth to the interactive graphics uh, system, XGOBI, which eventually turned into GGOBI. For one last example, let's take a look at topic seven and see how that relates to graphics. I'll hover over topic seven, and these words are loosely defining the area of geometry, and more broadly, mathematics. Certainly, these concepts, geometry and mathematics, has its place within the broad area of graphics. So it seems as though our topic model is discovering subtopics within computer graphics. This is somewhat reassuring since our topic model has 50 topics, but our ground truth labels has only about 20. Notice that a large portion of this topic model is still left unexplored. Trying to make these same types of discoveries using static graphics is a very tedious and impractical task. Therefore, an interactive system like LDAVIS is very essential to gaining and refining your understanding of things such as a topic model.